We're working through our masonry details at the fine home building house here in Prairie Village, Kansas. And you can see behind us, the guys have scaffolding set up, the bricks laid out, Type S is mixing, guys are ready to work. What'd they do to start to get the brick up on the wall, Joe? Well, it starts with our angle iron. So we have a four by four angle iron. It's actually a six inch angle iron at the bottom. Throughout the rest of the brick, it's all four by four. That's specifically measured out and then epoxied into our foundation wall. So when we're laying our running bond brick, we have a full course at the bottom of the window and a full course at the top of the window, and then it tucks in nicely underneath our fascia. Yeah, those are key details. The architect worked really hard with the metal fabricator to make sure that the, the metal surround for the window was the exact right dimension for that coursing to land. And then of course, the masons had to nail it with the placement of the angle iron at the bottom. And as they've worked up the wall, it, everything's been clean and easy. So it just goes back to constantly planning to execute. So some of the specific details we're looking for is the masonry to the metal. So when everyone's walking around the project, they're looking for clean lines, and nice shadows. And so it's important to us that all these bricks are cut to the same length and this gap is consistent and that we have everything looking nice and clean. We might end up filling this with a sealant just because of movement, but we don't wanna rely on the sealant. We want the product as it's installed to be correct. We've been working on the front around the windows, but on the back we have a little bit different condition where we are actually masonry on masonry rather than over the Obdike rain screen on wood framing. What we've got here is a four by four steel angle, uh, which we have on the front as well, bolted to the foundation. But back here, you can see just how much of it there is in order to support all the weight of this masonry. Now, with that building up, we're gonna be running the brick in running bond fashion. So basically a 50% offset so that we have a consistent joint horizontally and vertically to build out that classic mid-century look. And then on the top of this wall back here, we actually get a CMU wall so that we can build up a sitting wall that also acts as a railing on this back patio. And it'll get capped with a double course. It's really gonna finish out nicely, but the brick details on this job are really what set it apart from the traditional sidings that you see in the rest of the area. So with that, we're kind of wrapping up our exterior on this with the painters finishing up, hopefully by the end of next week, the driveway is poured today. Uh, exterior paint and brick done, we're kind of moving to the interior. Yeah, we're right in the middle of the electrical finish, tiles underway, cabinets next week. So stay tuned to see how all these elements come together. Mm -hmm.